Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with question number 11 on this series, We Ask TV. And this one's kind of a advanced Google ads question. And I think it came from someone who watched a video I did recently on Google ads bid strategies, comparing maximized clicks to maximize conversions. So I'll link to that video at the end. But that was a video that just describes the bid strategies and gave my opinion. This is a specific question. So sometimes these specific questions give a little bit more nuance and detail. So I'm gonna read this question from Brian Murphy at debugyourbed.com. So Brian said, I've been using the maximized click strategy for several months and have tons of clicks on my campaigns and an average CTR or click through rate of 9%. I track phone call conversions using Tag Manager. My conversion count has been low for months so I don't have great data as far as conversions are concerned. I recently changed a few of my campaigns to maximize conversions, but now I am wondering if I need more conversion data before using this strategy. So my question is, will maximizing conversions work on campaigns with really low conversions? Some weeks there are zero conversions, thanks. So again, Brian's asking about using the maximize conversions bid strategy versus maximize clicks, which is what he's using now. And again, I'll link to the video where I describe these two. So the first thought I had for Brian is, is really checking to see if his conversions are tracking properly. A lot of times there's issues with the way you're tracking conversions. Maybe you're not tracking calls from ads. Maybe there's something wrong with the script that you're using to track calls on your website. Uh, so I'm not able to check all that for him. So I really just encourage him to make sure that they're counting all the conversions on the website. It sounds like he's dealing with mostly phone calls, so he's not getting like contact form conversions. So he's comfortable just optimizing for phone calls. But again, you gotta make sure you're counting all of them. So one thing that one of my Google agency reps who works at Google told me recently is that the maximized conversions bid strategy basically works like maximize clicks if it has no conversion data. So if you have no conversion data, basically what he was saying is go ahead and set it to maximize conversions because it's just gonna maximize clicks until it has enough data to maximize conversions. So that kind of makes sense to me and I'm a little bit skeptical of any advice I get from Google because I know they're typically trying to um, get you to spend as much as they can even though they do want you to get good results. So one thing to watch out for is the maximize conversions bid strategy has an emphasis on spending your budget. So if you have a $100 a day budget and you have no conversion data, but you're set to maximize conversions, it's gonna put an emphasis on spending your budget. It wants to spend that $100 a day. So you could end up getting clicks for 20 bucks just so that it could spend that budget. And without that conversion data, you're probably not gonna get great results because it doesn't have any way to optimize for conversions. It's just gonna be maximizing clicks and it's gonna be kind of reaching uh, when it comes to maximizing conversions. And it might reach by spending 20 or $30 on a single click just so it could spend that budget. And also keep in mind with the maximize conversions bid strategy, you don't have the ability to set a max bid per click. With maximize clicks bid strategy, you can set a max bid. So you could say, I don't wanna spend any more than $3 or $5, and it's gonna maximize your clicks below that bid. With maximize conversions, you don't have that control. So really the basic question that Brian was asking is, will maximizing conversions work on campaigns with really low conversions? So really the bottom line answer is no, because maximize conversions as a bid strategy is designed to maximize your conversions by optimizing your clicks using different factors uh, based on the conversion data. If you don't have conversion data, it's really not doing what it's supposed to do. And you're just taking away some of those other benefits you have of the Maximize Clicks bid strategy. So in Brian's case, I would really just encourage him to use the Maximize Clicks bid strategy. And in the meantime, the bigger and more important thing to pursue would be conversion. So really asking yourself, why am I getting a very low conversion rate? And if you are, there might not be any point in doing Google ads anyway and spending that money until you can raise that conversion rate. So I also told Brian that you know, you focus on that. And one of the ways to do that would be to look at your landing page and see, are there any issues with the landing page? Can I improve that and um, raise my conversion rate that way? So I actually did a video, a couple of videos on landing pages and how you can optimize them to improve your conversion rate. Uh, so I'll link to that video here. 
a really low conversion rate may be a signal of other problems as well. I already mentioned that you should be checking your conversion uh, data, conversion actions to make sure they're set up correctly. But if you're not getting phone calls and you're not getting any recorded conversions, there could be other issues with your campaign. You might be targeting the wrong keywords. Your ads might be a little bit mismatched with your keywords and your landing page. And I call, I call this uh, message match. So it's just the um, kind of the congruency between or the match between your keywords, your landing page, and um, your text ads. So I'll link to that video as well and you can kind of use that to gauge if your message matches in line. And if something is off in one of those three, there's a good chance that that's why your conversion rate is low. Maybe you're just getting clicks that aren't targeted to what you're offering. So thanks for the question, Brian. I hope it answers uh, your question and also provides some insight to other people who definitely will have similar questions. I'm going to link to the video I did describing maximized clicks versus maximized conversions. I'm sure everyone who watches this video will also find that useful. It'll help to kind of flesh out some of the uh, technical details I was talking about in this video. I know I threw a lot at you, but you might want to go back and watch that video so you can understand more about what I was discussing in this video. So thanks for watching. If you have a question you'd like me to answer on one of these videos, uh, go to weask.tv and you could submit your question there. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one.